What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Ostentoski here of Maze and Brew, bringing you another hockey highlights video. Everybody panic. I'm just kidding. It's Michigan's first loss of the season, two to three against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Frustrating game to watch overall. But let's dive into the analysis. Let's look at what went wrong for Michigan in their first loss of the 2020-2021 season. Here we go. All right, started this game. I thought this was one of the weakest periods in Michigan season thus far. Just a pretty sloppy play, especially in the first period. Um, shot here from the point for Michigan here. Chances early on for both teams, but Notre Dame really controlled this first period. Breakaway chance here, slash there uh, against Pasichov. And then I thought that could have been called a second uh, penalty there for a trip of Granowitz. You can see, obviously, this first uh, slashing call takes a stick right out of Pasichov's hand. But then watch 71 here, Granowitz coming up. Uh, the ice in the zone 24 I think gets away with a potential hook or a tripping penalty there it wasn't called just the one power play um, only a couple chances for Michigan here on the power play it was kind of sloppy overall give credit to Notre Dame uh, for their penalty kill shot up front there from Bordelow with uh, Becker up front can't do anything there Johnson with a nice shot here Beniers can't get it past goaltender Ryan Bischel he had a heck of a game uh, for goaltending for Notre Dame and then just turnovers for Michigan in their own zone. That was kind of the uh, the story of this period in this game overall for Michigan. Good shot from there from the right wing and gets over the right shoulder of man. Um, and that makes it one nothing Notre Dame. A um, few more turnovers here uh, in Michigan's own zone. And that generated just a lot of really good looks for Notre Dame throughout the period. Uh, give credit to man here on some of these. They're really tough um, to deal with for him in this period and he did a good job of keeping it one nothing here in the first again just a bad pass out of Michigan's own zone Crawford takes over uh, for Notre Dame gets it back towards the left wing and a shot that man defends so um, just passing overall wasn't crisp and um, it generated a lot of scary looks for Notre Dame first period ends one nothing here we have a good shot up the right wing blocker save from Notre Dame nothing going there and then uh, a good chance for Notre Dame up here up the left wing of Michigan zone, good pass there, and Mann stops that with a nice save, no rebound there. Here's what I thought was a really good shot uh, for passage job. I thought this was for sure a hook. Uh, right here, you can see him dangle here, and then look at that stick right there, across the midsection. You can see here, I'll have a clip of Mel Pearson saying as much to the refs at the end. You can see clear, clearly hear him say, that's a hook. You can see a point right there, that's a hook. Yep, and I agree with that. Um, another chance up here. I thought this could have been called interference. Cle clearly the puck nowhere near Brisson at the point of contact here. You can see number 19 there passes it off and then boom cross check before the puck even gets there. Wasn't called, but I think it could have been. Um, lots more pressure uh, throughout this uh, period for Michigan overall. Good shot here from power to Trescott right wing can't get it passed and then turnover cost Michigan a goal here. So there you have Summers. Uh, mishandles the puck shot from the blue line sneaks right past man here on the left side far side just inside the post um, screened by quite a few players here in front of man goes far side nothing he can really see there um, just frustrating and then about a minute later here Beneers trying to enter the zone costly turnover Michigan at four in the zone we're in the middle of a change as of a defenseman as well and breakaway shot Beneers I think just tried to do a little bit too much he had power to drop off to the left there he tries to get deke it past him and uh Notre Dame capitalizes on the mistake Another chance here, Notre Dame off another turnover, good pass up front, and man, give him credit, he stops that one to keep it 3-0 here. Um, not the best camera angle on this one, but Michigan did apply some pressure late, breakaway opportunity for Beniers, just can't put it past uh, the goaltender um, right here. Uh, good pass there. Um, here's some pressure, he's deking, nope, can't get it past. So again, just opportunities for Michigan that uh, some good goaltending has, has kept Michigan out of the net thus far. Um, finally, they get one on the board here. By Luke Morgan. Didn't find the target. Now it is. And Morgan gets the goal for Michigan. Really, really nice vision from the left wing uh, over across to Luke Morgan, who makes it 3-1. to one. Looking at the uh, game stats here, um, I mean, you had 22 to 15 shots on goal, but of those 15, three goals for Notre Dame. Obviously, some really good looks as a part of that. So, despite the penalty advantage for Michigan, the shot advantage, they're uh, down two goals after 40 minutes. So, into the third period here. Uh, Michigan obviously had to get the pressure on here, and, and they did. Game. Michigan trying to catch him in a line change. They do. Here's passage off. He shoots. He scores. Really nice body control here. He gets it up the right wing. He looks to pass across the middle here. Redirects and boom, sneaks it right under the pad of the goaltender. Really nice shot there. Um, and that's what they needed. They needed a goal early in this period to keep it close, to keep it within uh, shooting distance here. And they're only down one with a, a period to go. Uh, nice chance a minute later here for power blocker save from Bischel, but uh, good approach there, good passing. Um, Granowitz can't find back the neck. Um, 
on this one either. Um, so, uh, you know, they're, they're getting good good chances here. Notre Dame with a few uh, chances of their own. This one somehow didn't get past man, flipped up in the air. Uh, another shot here from the left wing for Notre Dame off the crossbar, so that's a scary one. Um, so, you know, they, they were getting their own shots as well as Michigan applying pressure. It was kind of a crazy period, uh, but nothing into the net there. Um, flurry of chances here as the uh, third period winds down. Good shot from the right wing there. Pucks bouncing out net. Just can't get a shot going there. There's another one that gets blocked by a defender. Um, it was kind of continuation of that throughout uh, late of the third period here. Michigan applying tons of pressure. Again, shot after shot. Uh, shot from power there off the wing. Uh, covered up. And then, you know, Michigan has pulled their goalie six on five and just not able to, to get in the net. Just some good, you know, puck movement up front here and, and lots of shot chances just nothing that was able to cleanly get through or really any clear rebound chances off of these so i mean that's tough right um end game thoughts i don't really like how notre dame plays they're they're very comfortable keeping the puck in their own zone behind their own net um and they capitalize on uh, you know when maybe uh, the opposing defense is is caught napping or uh, they take very few chances but they have high quality looks of those chances so um, when you combine that with the amount of mistakes that Michigan had early on in this game, it's not a good recipe to win a game, right? You're down three, nothing. It's really hard when you combine Notre Dame's defensive style and, and that defensive strength with Michigan's early on, uh, struggles defensively in those turnovers that really cost them against a veteran Notre Dame squad. So, um, you know, I, I think it was also a game. I don't think man was as strong as he has been. Um, but to give you know, give him credit. It could have easily been five or six goals for Notre Dame. He did stop quite a few uh, as well off of some uh, rough defending from Michigan overall. So they get a chance to redeem themselves tonight. This is the 28th. They're playing at 7 p.m. at Yost again against Notre Dame. Try to tie up the series before Notre Dame goes back to South Bend. But um, we'll see how they do. Um, you know, it's a four and one team. Still a really good squad for Michigan. See how they uh, respond to some adversity here. So. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. We're up to 1,800 plus subscribers, which is crazy. I was just at 1,500 a couple days ago. So you guys have really shown the channel a bunch of love. I really appreciate it. Uh, throw a like, comment on what you uh, saw or what you want to see from the channel. Um, I read all the comments. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Besides that, let's watch some football today. Watch some more hockey today. There's basketball tomorrow. Lots, lots, lots of Michigan content coming up soon here from the Mason Brew channel. But... Follow me on Twitter at Steven Toski. And beyond that, guys, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Hope you have a good long holiday weekend. And yeah, let's watch some Michigan sports all around. And as always, go blue.